The live reading is closed on February 2, 2022. Let's start with our disclaimer. It's my trading plan for tomorrow the 3rd. Remember, follow the rules of my channel. Remember, I can be wrong and any trade should be at your own risk. Well, I had a lower target for today, 44.96.31. I thought it might fail, as these other ones did in this past week, so I declined to make a call. We did look for the pattern with the early high, which we got, and it tends to be a rally day with a fine lower high, so that did work, and tomorrow's pattern should also have the early high. In the morning, MJT gave an ultimate sell signal that worked, but also gave an optional higher target, and that worked too. As I said, the the system gives um, targets, and it's entirely possible to give higher and lower targets from the same pattern. We did have this rally. Normally, you'll close at the high. In fact, we closed under all the highs made in the last hour of trading. It's actually weak for this pattern. Unless we overtake this high promptly, which futures are arguing against, it should lead to lower prices tomorrow. It doesn't have to lead to a lower close though. Well, here's trend line resistance. We're right there. Normally, when you come right up to the line, you gap over the line or the line wins. It's also a 61.8% retrace. Nothing requires this resistance to hold. We've, we've uh, blasted through a number of other resistance areas I thought had a lot going for them on this rally, but at least there is resistance. Well, this count was invalidated when we traded through wave one here and wave one here. So we have to get rid of it and come up with something else. I like counting this as an impulse, but that's invalidated. I suppose this isn't the only way to count this, but you do have an ABC down. You do have an ABC up. This is a 61.8% retrace of this wave, and it's a 38.2% retrace of this wave. So at least you've got FIBS going for you, and you have the trend line going for you. And as I said earlier in the week, today was a day someone else had as a day for the change in trend. If it works, I can't take any credit for it, but at least it has a chance here. We do start down. Uh, we have all these lower targets, and the only higher targets I have are up in the 4700s. And if we have made a, a major top, normally you'll leave that behind. Well, tomorrow's pattern has a really high. It doesn't mean you won't gap down. Today's normally bullish pattern did have a final hour high, but the market kept no gains of its final hour. It's relative weakness, unless we get and promptly clear today's high, we should see lower prices print even if we don't close lower. There's trend line and fib resistance at today's high. If we're to continue to rally on the beta, ideally we should gap over that resistance. Someone else's work has today as a change in trend day. I think it has a chance to work, but I get no credit if it does. It's based on somebody else's stuff. There have been a number of logical stopping places for this rally since last week's low. This is one more such place. I think after tomorrow's open, it'll be clear whether or not this one works. If we do start down, the futures are down quite a bit, about 1% as I'm recording this. If we do start down, we have all these targets that should print at some time. So bulls need to keep it going, ideally by getting over this, these, these highs. And if so, we have higher targets. But if we drop from here, it's one of the logical places. Tomorrow has the early high. I think the open's gonna give us information we need. 
And uh, that's today's call.